Moving on to question number five, we have Mr. Brown. He went to grocery shopping and he bought meat, right? And、um, let me see, he bought seven and three quarter pounds of hamburgers, and then seventeen point eight five pounds of chicken, and six and one half pounds of steak. The question is, how many pounds of meat did Mr. Brown buy? So here we have a mixed number seven and three over four, and the decimal, right, seventeen point eight five, and also another mixed fraction six and one half. So before doing anything, actually let me take a look of the、uh, answer choices. Notice how the answer choices they are all in decimals, right? So it's a good idea to change all these mixed numbers into decimal numbers. We don't want to see fractions in this case, right? So of course,、uh, let me see. This is question number five. So he first he bought seven and three over four pounds of hamburger. Together he also had.、Um, I'm going to add seventeen point eight five because he also bought a chicken, right? So that's why I'm adding. So I'm combining all the meats, and then also、um, the six and one half pounds of steak. So plus. Six and a half pounds of steak. So if we can add all this and then change all this to decimals, that will give us the answer. That will give us the total amount of meat that Mr. Brown bought. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So seven and three over four. The problem here is the three over four. How do we deal with three over four? So let me kind of just circle the three over four. Uh, I'm going to write down right here. So first, I need to change three over four into decimal. Maybe that you know the answer right away because this is as saying three quarters, and three quarter you can think about that as uh seventy five cents, and that's absolutely fine because yes, three over four this is just point seven five. You can just do that right away. That's okay. But I want to show you a way that will always work, because sometimes if you are dealing with let's say three over、um, eight, then how do we change three over eight into decimal? Then we will just divide. Okay, the key here is divide. So change three over four into decimal. Three over four, we are going to do three divide by four, and then do the long division for it. So notice the three is the first number in the long div in the division. So we put that inside of the division bar, and then the four is the second number. Put it outside. To divide, four goes into three zero times. So put a zero right there. And then you want to continue. That's how we can get decimals, right? So notice that three is the same as saying three point zero. And then later. We are going to line up with the decimal point for the answer. So let me do that right now already. And now I'm looking at four and thirty. Okay, so I'm looking at this as three zero thirty. Four goes into thirty seven times. Because seven times four is twenty eight. That works. And when we are doing division, you will subtract. Thirty minus twenty eight, you have two. Oh,、um, we still have a remainder. So, in order to, for us to keep going, I can use the idea of putting a zero after the decimal point. So, three point zero is the same as saying three point zero, and another zero. So I can bring this zero down here. Now I can look at four and twenty. Four goes into twenty five times. Five times four is exactly twenty, and when we subtract. Now you have a remainder zero, so we are done. So three divided by four is zero point two, ah,、uh, zero point seven five. So this is how we can change three over four into a decimal, which is seven, which is point seven five. And later on, if you are dealing with let's say three over seven or five over eight or seven over sixteen, if you want to change all those fractions to decimal, just divide. Okay, 
So let me get back to the question here. 7 and 3 over 4 is equal to 7. The 3 over 4 becomes 0 0.75. Okay, the second one is already in decimal, so it's great. Let me just copy that down. 17.85 plus 6 and 1 half. We can do the same for 1 half right here. Right? And 1 half is just going to change to 0.5. So I'm going to skip that for this uh, right here. Right? 1 half, it's the same as 0.5. So 6 and 1 half is just the same as 6.5. Okay, we can do the same steps here, um, um, but I think I will just uh, skip that for now. Okay, so now we just need to add up all these decimal numbers, okay? So to add decimal numbers, the key here is to, um, let me write it down, line up with the decimal points. So, what we have, the first number is 7.75 plus the second number, I have 17.85 and the third number, I have 6.5 so I'll just write down as plus 6.5 and notice that I line up with the decimal points and then we're just going to add them up normally, alright? So 5 plus 5 is 10. So let me write down a 0 with a 1 over, uh, carry over. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 plus 5 is 21. So let me write down the 1 first and then have the 2 carry over. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. So let me write down the 2 and have the have the 2 carry over. I have 2 plus 1, that's equal to 3. For the answer, you also line up with the decimal point. So even though right now we have 3,210, uh, 3, this is not correct. We are going to put the decimal points, line up the decimal point. So all together, when you add all these numbers, you get 32.10. And let me see if that's one of the answer choices. That's answer choice A. That's answer choice A. That.